Want to know the best way to write high converting email copy in less than 15 minutes? Well, all you need is some really good swipes, chat GPT, and a little bit of know-how, which I'm going to show you in this really quick video. So if this is the first time joining one of my YouTubes. I'm Brian Sikansky. I'm an email copywriter that works with seven, eight, and nine figure businesses in the health space, but also in a bunch of different industries. Today, I'm going to show you a manifestation offer that I worked on that got as close as I ever have to working with ChatGPT, getting an output and not having to make hardly any edits uh, whatsoever. So uh, this was a really important moment for me because for a long period of time, over the last few months and months and months, I've worked with AI and ChatGPT. Uh, but my frustration point is anytime I put in these outputs, especially from an email perspective, uh, I've had to make a lot of edits. I've kind of gone through with a, a fine tooth comb and, and it almost makes it to the point where it's like, I probably should have just written the whole thing myself, but I've had a lot of success writing editorials, uh, some sales paid leads, sales pays leads, uh, and other longer form, uh, copy that has come out, uh, without having to make a ton of edits. So I knew it was possible from that perspective and I'm getting closer and closer to that, uh, via email. So I'm going to show you based on a project that I worked on about two weeks ago, how you can get there uh, and, and get to the point where you can write really great emails that not only beat those controls, but uh, even if it's a new project for you as a business owner or a copywriter, uh, get to the point where you can roll it out right away and not spend a ton of time on it as you go through. So um, I'm going to start with number one. Again, this was a manifestation offer, new sales page, uh, kind of a ClickBank type of offer. Uh, so one of the things I knew is uh, I didn't have a ton of know-how in terms of the manifestation. I've worked in personal development before, but just need to get up to speed in terms of like who is that market that would be most interested in manifestation. So this is the, one of the first things that I would say is, is definitely go to chat GPT. Uh, anytime you're writing for uh, emails or anything else, just get up to date on who you're writing for, just so you can, can, can get a download on who you're speaking to, what they care about, all those kind of things. So again, I just started out with a simple phrase. What do you know about the market for manifestation? Chat GPT gave me some really helpful uh, information. And then can you describe for me the market that manifestation would appeal to the most? And then kind of got into, okay, here's the age, here's the gender. Give me a really good specifics in terms of like, okay, like this is the type of person that would be interested in it. Here's what's going on in their life. Uh, one of the things that stuck out is a lot of people in manifestation, they're going through a period of transition in either in terms of their life, their job, whatever it is. So in my emails, I, I knew that I wanted to tap into that as I went forward. Um, and again, who is manifestation not a good fit for again, in the same way that I talked about CrossFit, uh, yesterday in terms of like, who is the market good for, who's it not good for, you want to be able in your marketing to kind of repel the people that you don't want on that page and to really speak to the people that you want the most that got me to the point where, again, I, I kind of created a, a summary of that. I got to the point where it's like, okay, like can I build a buyer persona? And this is what I built in terms of buyer persona for manifestation. Again, um, I'm not going to spend a ton of time and prompt and how I got here. Just helpful to kind of look at the output here. So again, a 35 year old in middle management corporate setting kind of goes through all those different things. Again, if you want a little bit more information on how I get into these buyer personas, go into some of the videos that I've done on the previous um, days, but I want to get into a little bit more how I started to create these emails in the process for thinking about these emails, especially if you're going into a, a new market or something like that. So again, as I went through this, I don't, you know, like I haven't had a ton of experience in terms of manifestation, uh, specific products, but I knew if I went on to ClickBank, uh, one of the things I knew is one of the top offers right now in terms of ClickBank is a manifestation offer. So again, anytime you go on to ClickBank, the great part is that all these offers, especially the ones that are doing well, tend to have really great swipes, email swipes, because, you know, if they have really great email swipes, it makes it easier for those affiliates to, uh, you know, just copy and paste uh, some of those emails in there. So I knew that was an, a really easy opportunity for me to take a look at the swipes for a top 10 ClickBank offer, and use that inspiration, you know, based on the market, based on the, um, you know, the, the research I've done in ChatGPT, use those swipes to kind of personalize it for the offer that I'm looking at and, uh, you know, create, uh, high converting emails, uh, to do that. So again, as much as possible, like the, the, your competitive, your competitors, uh, uh, have done the research. They've done some level of research and testing for you, especially on ClickBank where 
they've done a ton of testing to make sure that their affiliates are happy and things like that. And the results here in terms of a top 10 offer, okay, it's been tested, affiliates are mailing for it. We know the swipes are pretty good. I have the market knowledge. How can I personalize it for my specific offer? And that kind of reduces your risk uh, in terms of the emails going out, but increases your chances that those emails that you put together are gonna convert uh, even higher as you go forward. So again, um, if you're not on ClickBank already, again, just sign up for an affiliate account. This is kind of the top offers right here. You should go over here and just click on, you know, kind of the gravity score. Uh, that's, that's, you know, click from high to low. That's kind of the ranking system that they're looking at. Uh, you can see a, a bunch of different offers. So Live Pure is a healthcare offer, a bunch of different healthcare offers at the top. And then um, a little bit further down is, at least I thought it was a little bit further down. Let me just go back and view all offers. We're just looking for the one offer here so i'll see if we can just change this i'll just change this to rank high to low and see if it comes up let's see if it's down here so okay so uh, i guess this is the change since i used it is it's gone on the second page now so a little bit um I don't know if it's outside of the top 10, but you can see what uh, where it is right now. So this wealth manifestation offers. That's why it wasn't coming up in terms of the gravity score or the rank. It's just um, maybe a little bit outside the top 10 or maybe it's at 9 and 10 right here. So again, I'm going to go here. Uh, if you want to check out the page, you can hit this promote button. What I usually do is hit this uh, affiliate page. This will take you a page that looks like this. Thank you for your interest in, in promoting it. And they'll just give you a lot of information in terms of what you're looking for. We're going to go down to the email swipes. Once you click on the email swipes, it'll come to this page. And I'll just uh, move myself over here. So again, what you have to do is kind of, again, use your market knowledge and the research that you got from ChatGPT and really going through these swipes as much as possible. So for this one, they gave you, I don't know how many, probably 12 or 15 different swipes to look at. So again, knowing your, you know, knowing your market based on ChatGPT, knowing what your personalized offer is, um, go through these swipes and see the ones that are seem most interesting. What are the ones that kind of catch your attention, catch your curiosity, and really think about like, what are those marketing principles that they're really trying to employ within their emails that really seem to work? So as I went through this, like if I went through, you know, swipe, swipe number one, two, three, I'm not gonna go through in general, but they didn't really catch my attention. And it wasn't until I probably got to swipe number five or six, um, to some of the ones that were a little bit more catching my attention. <clears throat> so like this is this was kind of the first one. So swipe number five. Again, I didn't love the subject line, so I, I just wrote my own subject lines in terms of the final copy. But you can see like what I'm really looking at is kind of the first lines. Looking at the first lines like, okay, like is, is this something that is really gonna catch their attention? Something like that. So this is the first one that kind of caught my attention. You're receiving this email, the universe has chosen you. So again, People love being called out and, and kind of feeling like that personalized email, like, okay, like, especially in the manifestation market where the universe is working in your favor, God is working in your favor, something that is kind of turning the tide. Again, we're, we're talking to a market that is going through some type of transition. They're, they're kind of searching for hope. They're, they're searching for that solution. So in the first line, we can say your luck is changing. Like, uh, you know, like the universe has your back now, like um, God is moving in your favor, like whatever it is, like that's going to, that's going to catch their attention. They're going to keep going uh, along the way. And then kind of tying in a little bit more curiosity, a rogue government scientist is exposing a secret experiment about wealth attraction. Okay. Now we've hooked them in. So now somebody's working, like the universe is working in my favor. Now we've got this secret behind it. Uh, who's, you know, it's a secret. Uh, we can attach some scarcity uh, to it. We can uh, get them moving in the right direction. You know, and you can see that here. It's only available to midnight tonight, so they have to act fast. Like, oh, think about all the direct response principles we're, we're digging into here. Uh, and think about, again, this is going to be important, especially as you go to ChatGPT and not only copy and paste some of these swipes, but also explain to ChatGPT, like, here's what they're doing here. Like, in this first line, this is really what you have to do to get to the point where you can have some really great high converting copy. You not only want to collect the swipes, but you also want to explain to ChatGPT 
Like, what are some of the principles here? So as I went through the prompt with ChatGPT, one of the first things I said is like, okay, in this first line, we want to, you know, give them the impression that, you know, the universe or God or whatever specific to your audience is moving in their favor. Because again, they're, they're um, and I'm going to give them the, the market information as, as well that they kind of downloaded. So they're going to know like this universe is, you know, like this audience is going through a transition and they're going to connect the dots, but you have to really spell it out for chat GPT. So they're not guessing. And if uh, you can kind of channel all of AI's intelligence, you're going to get a better output than you're, what you're looking for. And then talk about how you're using um, a, a key secret here. So for your offer, it might not be a rogue government scientist. It might be something different. And for my offer, it was something a little bit different. So again, I kind of filled in chat GPT in terms of the principles of what we're trying to do here, like create some urgency. This is a limited time opportunity. Kind of mentioned, you know, we want to insert some scarcity here. So again, chat GPT kind of has those principles. You kind of copy and paste the swipe in there. You give them a little bit more about your offer. What's the promise? What's the unique solution? What's the UMS? What's the UMP? And then you kind of give them uh, the, the style characteristics that you're looking for. So maybe you want to follow this swipe as much as possible. In this case, because it is working, I'd probably follow the same structure, voice, um, and, and um, you know, style, uh, all those different things, and and let Chat GPT say like, okay, like this is a proven structure. I want to follow it exactly, and I want to be able to test that. So, and as you test more, you might change around the structure, you might change around the length. But for right now, um, you know, just give uh, Chat GPT kind of the guidelines of like this is what we're looking for uh, altogether. Um, and you can see the rest of it again, a little bit more about the U S government. Again, uh, this market might be a little bit more conservative, so you can kind of rail against the U S government. If it makes sense based on your offer, based on the audience, like think about like, what are some of those hidden enemies that they might point the finger at, uh, based on, you know, where they are right now, those kind of things. Um, you know, and, and talking about like, this is a rare chance to see how the, the one percenters are harnessing the power of their root chakras. Again, your offer might be a different um, you know, problem solution kind of thing. So, but you get the idea here as we go through these swipes, you know, this is a well-written email. You can see, we're not going to steal these ideas. We're going to swipe the structure, the style, the tone, the voice, and we're going to insert our specific offer, um, details and, uh, we're going to bring it to life. Um, but we're kind of using, again, we're using the testing and, and all the things that has worked for this other offer to give us a head start uh, to make sure that we get better results uh, from the very beginning. Uh, and as I went ahead, there was a couple more. So like this is another example, swipe number six, making one tiny change to your morning routine. Again, thinking about my audience, I know within the health space that I write for all the time, especially those people that are looking to lose weight or to do anything, they don't wanna, you know, like your, your market, most of the time is pretty lazy. So they want to know the one thing that they can do right now, the one thing that they can avoid and see massive results. So we want to speak to that, especially in that first line. So this is what they're doing very effectively here, making one tiny change to your morning routine can act activate the root chakra. And then once you do that, you know, that's the difference between attracting wealth. So again, you know, for most people, this thing is completely inactive. It's not working. So we've got this specific me mechanism to get you to the other side. Again, we're, you know, like we're, we're talking about the secrets here, top secret U S government, uh, experiment again, for your audience, it might be something a little bit different, but you can see the, the different principles that they're working on here. They're talking about secret U S government experiments. They're talking about how, you know, the, especially in the manifestation market, they're talking about the rich have all these specific secrets and now you have uh, a limited time exposure to them. So you can see as you go through these swipes, uh, different structures, different voices, different styles, but you can see on the different beats that they're really catching on. And that's really what you have to go back to chat GPT and, and kind of really lay it out for them in terms of like, okay, here's the, here's the swipe, but here's kind of the order of operations. Here's what we're really doing here so that it, it, it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to guess like anytime chat GPT has to guess what your output uh, wants to be, it, it doesn't exactly get, um, get there. So if you want to be really happy with the outputs, give them a little bit more about what are the principles behind that copy in the swipe. And, you know, this is, this is the benefit of being a copywriter or a business owner or knowing your audience really well is chat GPT can't really read between the lines of like, what are the different direct response marketing principles that are behind this email? It does a pretty good job of it, but if you can add your value to that, that's going to get even more outputs and add your specific offer details, those kind of things. 
uh, and maybe just one more in terms of swipes. So again, there's there's a bunch of them in here. Again, go on ClickBank, go through these swipes, but I thought they were really good in terms of, so I, what I did is I just went through all the swipes, kind of pick and cho you know, like pick and chose, uh, like picked a, maybe five or six that I thought were really good, um, swiped the structure. Again, not the ideas. I'm not copying any of the copy that, that they have here. I'm just using some of the, the principles that they're using, personalize it for my offer. Uh, and then y'all you know, put it out there as a test. And again, that's that's a way to reduce risk and to increase your probability of having high converting copy along the way. So again, a groundbreaking study from the high powered US government agency proves you can activate your wealth DNA. Again, introducing kind of that mechanism like wealth DNA, like what is that kind of, um, uh, like I don't know what that is, but it gets me the benefit that I'm looking for, allowing money to flow into your life effortlessly. So you can see on how you know, the three swipes that we looked at, that first line and, and flowing into that second line is super important to generate some curiosity, to, to let them know this time it's different, to let them know there's urgency, scarcity, all those kind of things. And this one, they're talking about how something that only the top 1% of income earners knew before the study was leaked by a rogue government scientist. So you can see like how there's like almost controversy involved. There's there's a lot of things that are being drubbed up there. You know, there's a story being uh, imagined in their head that's leading to these clicks along the way. So you can see how these swipes are really good. And that's, you know, this is why I was really excited to kind of go through some of these swipes. And again, I wasn't starting from zero in terms of blank slate. I have the structure style and, and all this stuff that I swiped and eventually went forward uh, with my email. So again, thinking about like anytime, you know, super important to anytime you go into a market, do some market research, find the, you know, find the key leaders within the industry that are, are, you know, you know they're, they're running a ton of traffic. They're, they're have a ton of revenue, um, you know, get on their email lists. If you're writing emails, definitely start, um, you know, collecting, uh, you know, see see those emails that you get sent over and over again. That's an indication of those that are performing really well, and kind of put them into a separate folder, and then start analyzing them. What 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 principles are they kind of harping on again and again and again? And that'll give you an idea of like for my market, for your offer. Okay, I want to harp on these same principles. I want to use uh, similar structures and test into them. Uh, and for your market and your email list, it might be a little bit different. But again, we don't want to start from a blank slate. We want to start from where your competition is and really work up and find those winners from there. So again, just to think about like as you're going into chat GPT and type typing into these prompts, once you've got into that market research, again, kind of covered this in past videos uh, over the last couple of days, but thinking about that prompt, uh, thinking about the structure, and this has been really helpful for me is just really thinking about almost the prompt in a series of steps. This can be one big long prompt that you have, but this is kind of the ingredients that chat GPT needs to get the outputs um, that I've seen get to the point where you don't have to make um, many edits whatsoever. And that's been the key big breakthrough for me is like, okay, part number one is identity statements. So for this one, if we're writing emails, Hey, chat GPT today, you're going to be a direct response um, uh, email copywriter uh, writing high converting email copy. Like again, put your own verbiage there, but we just want to make sure, let people let ChatGPT like this is the seat you're going to sit in. This is the identity that you're going to take on. Then part two is kind of those marketing principles. Again, we went through some of those swipes, so it could be like okay, number one, you start with um, number one. Yeah, we want to let them know within the email this is the principle we're using. Then we go and transition to this, where we raise a lot of curiosity, raise a lot of urgency, scarcity, all those things that I talked about kind of lay it out, like what are what are kind of those behind the scenes type of uh, secrets behind the swipe that you're going to give them. Again, as much as possible, you don't want ChatGPT kind of guessing uh, or filling in the blanks because that's when you're going to have to make a lot of edits uh, there. So give them the kind of the, the behind the scenes direct response principles that you're utilizing uh, to ChatGPT before inserting you know, whatever it is, a swipe. Uh, I'm also using more and more templates. So if you have a template that you've uh, uh, kind of utilized uh, after looking at a bunch of different swipes, use that, just copy and paste it in there. Let chat GPT, like here's the email swipe or email example I'm using uh, or that you should base uh, your email onto. And then 
give a little bit more to chat GPT about what your market is, the offer information. So for this one, be pasting in kind of that um, market summary that I put together on that other tab for chat GPT, and then kind of filling in the dots for the offer. It doesn't have to be a ton of information, but let them know what is your, what's your specific promise? What's your specific information? And really think about like, what are, what are those specific things that you want chat GPT to kind of insert in that swipe structure that you're giving? Like, what is that information that they need? So again, the more detailed that you can be here, the better the output, the output's going to be. What I typically do is I go through, especially from an email perspective, I'll go through the sales page and just kind of copy and paste the lines that really make sense on a Google doc. And once I have kind of that raw copy that, that that's there, it makes it a lot easier as I go into chat GPT and go into specific structures and styles and swipes and templates, I can kind of just copy and paste it from another Google doc kind of lessens uh, the amount of time I have there and ensures kind of the output is uh, a little bit closer to that. And again, once I have a proven <clears throat> output from ChatGPT that I like, you can always say to them, can you write five or 10 more variations? They can do that within a matter of uh, seconds or minutes uh, and saves you a ton of different time. And then the last part is kind of just the style instruction. So again, you know, do you want it to be writing in big block paragraphs? Again, for this one, using a swipe, we want to basically tell them to follow the same structure, tone, length, style, voice, all those kind of things, just because we know that works. That's worked for another offer. Let's start with what works first. So letting them know, like, just follow the exact same template there. Uh, again, a lot of times I'll talk about, um, I'll tell ChatGPT right on a third grade uh, reading level, uh, just to keep it as super basic as possible so we can speak our audience's language, talk about dimensionalizing. So I always tell uh, chat GPT to dimensionalize as much as possible the benefits that we're looking for to kind of bring it to life for my audience uh, because I know that works. So again, all those little secrets as you do more testing and get to know your audience and what emails work, those are the, you know, the few different lines that you should put at the bottom in terms of style uh, instructions and what you're looking for. So again, this has been a, a, a kind of a key project for me in terms of getting to the point where uh, the, the output that chat GPT is giving me very few edits. It got me very close to where I want it, where I can just really copy and paste it into a Google Doc, send it to that client and uh, be really happy about it. So again, in this one, I took a little bit more time in, in terms of those subject lines and a future video, I'll go through some of the subject line generation that I'm doing within AI um, and, and trying to get up to speed on that a little bit more. But again, follow this process in terms of like doing the research on your, your market. Uh, finding the swipes that are working for some of your competitors. Um, you know, they've done the research, they've done the testing already. So start from there and increase your probability of uh, winning and get getting some of those higher conversions. And then get to the point where you're, um, you know, as you're doing analysis on that sales page or wherever this email is going, inserting those personal details and the principles behind some of the swipes that you have. Give that to ChatGPT. The more information you give the ChatGPT, um, it doesn't have to be like, a huge tome. It doesn't have to be a book, but just kind of summarize it for, for the AI. And, and by doing that, you're going to get better outputs uh, along the way um, in doing that. So hope that was helpful as I went through this and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Um, if you have any suggestions on what else you'd want me to cover, let me know in the comments. Uh, hit the subscribe button so you get alerted to the anytime I make any copy.